welcome to ThinkTech, and uh, this is uh, Ventures in Small Business, a collaborative effort between uh, the Small Business Administration Hawaii District Office, the Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Mink Center for Business and Leadership, the Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific, to showcase the stories of local entrepreneurs and small businesses. My name is Nicholas Ogawa from the Hawaii Small Business Development Center. And today we have Takaho Iwasaki, the founder of Maji Connection and Island Innovation Demo Day. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you all for having me. Uh, so maybe let's start by please tell us a little bit about yourself Hi. and uh, yeah. where you're from. Sure. Uh, my name is Takaho Iwasaki. I'm the founder of Maji Connection, which is connecting Japanese business and American business, or Hawaii business. I'm originally from Japan, Kagoshima which is uh, the southeast area of Kyushu Island. Uh, I moved to Hawaii about six years ago to get an MBA of University of Hawaii. I ended just kind of loving Hawaii, especially people and businesses here. So I decided to stay here and then open the business, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah, Hawaii is a great place, yeah. right? It's like heaven for the business <laughs> and the people, right? <laughs> so maybe, uh, Tell us a little bit more about uh, Maji Connection and uh, Island Innovation Demo Day. Yeah, uh, so as I mentioned, I'm kind of like helping both Japanese company or business to connect to Hawaii startup or business. So like finding partners or investors from Japan for American or Hawaii companies. Uh, so for example, one of the things that I did is called event. It's, it's an event. It's called Island Innovation Demo Day. Uh, I had this event last April. It's basically, I have uh, about nine startups to pitch their ideas in front of Japanese companies and industries. Uh, I think I have a picture here. Uh, so first picture that I have is, this is a picture that uh, for uh, the, when we took a picture of the prize winners. Uh, and the second picture is, this one is like one of the startup pitch. Uh, it's actually Metro Girl. It's a vertical farm startup. He's pitching, he's pitching his idea in front of Japanese investment companies. Also, the third picture, well, we have amazing six judge panels, all of them Japanese, uh, but the, uh, uh, everybody is coming from different areas, like both Silicon Valley and in Japanese, in Japan. So they know a lot of like, business uh, about the Japan. So that kind of startup, Hawaii startups could hear about what kind of perspective from Japanese company side. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, uh, Hawaii really needs uh, and here, especially trying to foster island. Um, so how did you get into the startup industry? Um, it's very kind of hard to explain, but I just like just talk to people. I really had this idea that I really want to connect American and Japanese company all the time, uh, even when I was in Japan, because um, because I used to work in media company. Uh, also, my father is running business, many business in Kagoshima. So since I was a kid, I'm always getting involved with the business environment. So I've been seeing a lot of interesting business organization people in Japan, but then. They're very, very good at making something, doing business, not necessarily active globally. So I want to help them to come to outside. And just always had this idea. So I just like, you know, talk to people about, oh, I really want to do this. I don't want to do that. Um, and then one time I took internship at the, one of the biggest accelerator in Silicon Valley. Um, Cause it's a, uh, they, they doing, helping a lot of Japanese company to, Introduce American startup. I thought it was a great idea to be there to, to kind of learn how to do that. And so I was there and then just talking to people about my idea. Um, I want to make something like connecting Japanese business with uh, American startup in Hawaii. And I just talked to, and then I talked to this one guy, and this guy talked to uh, this Japanese company, it's called Libanus. And so they called me and they just said, hey, why don't you do the event in Hawaii? And we started to plan Island Innovation Day. So it's like, we, I didn't have any 
background, how I got involved with it, and just like talk to people and do the events. And through the events, I have to talk with many startups and organizations to actually make the event happen. And I started the business through the event. Oh, I see. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, can you tell us a little more about uh, what the process kind of was? Like, how did you really bring the event to life from just like thinking of from plug and play and talking with Levinet? Uh I mean, the process of how I make it happen, the yeah, actual process. How, yeah. um, it's, it's like, I, since, uh, as I said, I, since I used to work at the media company, I, I kind of knew how to do the event. Um, through my experience, uh, so I, I mean, I kind of like try. I use my knowledge at the same time. I never done anything about that kind of thing in in Hawaii. So I just ask everybody yeah. <laughs> whom I know. I just literally calling everybody, talk, email everybody that I can think of, and then I, if they don't know anything, I ask them, "Do you know somebody who knows this?" So. I mean, it was very step by step process, but it's this like I don't know, just like I don't think I had a plan. Plan, so it just all kind of worked yeah, out. Yeah, so <laughs> sorry I couldn't explain that detailed process, but it just like you just do whatever you can do or what you think it's good. That's how I make it happen. Oh, yeah, sometimes that's how it works too, yeah. right? Okay, so um, what are some of the companies that uh, you've helped or that joined your event? Um, so, so I have, so the company that I help them? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I have out of nine startups, uh, I have maybe about four startups that I'm helping. Um, so one of the biggest achievements we did was, uh, it's about Shakagai. Shakagai, Shakagai is a Hawaii startup who are making, uh, audio reality. It's basically they do making the app for tourists so oh, that they really can, cool. yeah, they can drive and then they can just hear the Hawaii story. So they don't have to hire any tour guide or they don't have to be part of a group. Um, so we, as a team, myself, also the other team members, we invested him. Also the other angel investor, he's very famous angel investor from Japan. He even makes the drone farm in Japan. He also invested Shakagai. So he got a Shakagai got like a lot of investment through this event. Also, we are helping him. They just Shakagai just launched the Japanese service. So we help them to do marketing, promoting to the Japanese people because they're a Hawaii company. They don't know how to market in Japan, Japanese people. That's great. So hopefully next year we will help them to come to Japan market for targeting American tourism, uh, tourists. Also, we have like two uh, startups. It's called a G Trainer Ecoponics. G Trainer is the startup making gate trainer, and the Ecoponics is uh, kind of she's making uh, materials for the vertical farm. So we're helping them. So actually, my partner Livernes is helping them to make the prototype in Japan. Um, also, um, we have a Metro Girl who is a vertical farm. Uh, he's making the Kerry Kakazu, the founder of the Metro Girl, he's making amazing vertical farm, mm -hmm. uh, the vegetables at the vertical farm. So, we, I kind of tried to help the partners or like some investors from Japan to him. So, I mean, um, it's very, what do you say? Um, it, it's, it's been only four months inside an event. Uh -huh. I'm so excited too that, that I'm actually doing something for them after the event and then how the how fast the things going on. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. I mean it sounds like uh, even four or five uh, startups out of the nine companies that mm -hmm. you pitched at your event are getting help from yeah. you or I mean um... I really want to help everybody but <laughs> it's it's very hard. Like but I hopefully not soon, but maybe but for the future, I have a sense of capacity that I can help everybody. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So you were you were talking about uh, some Levinas and some of your other partners. So mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can explain about who they are and what they do a little bit about yeah, them. Yeah. So uh, Levinas is uh, they do a lot of things, uh, but then uh, the founder of Levinas is Mr. Maru. 
uh, he kind of have a lot of like knowledge or the business idea how actually the researcher or the PhD student can start the business. So they like accelerated fast venture capital uh, to help the startup in Japan. Uh, so as I said, when I was planning Island Innovation Dem Day, I have no idea how to do this. I never done any pitch event, so he helped me a lot to how the process has to be. Um, uh, also, we had an amazing judge, including Maru Sam, and also we have other judges. So Nobu Morita is one of the judges. He's a working NCX, which is an NCX accelerator, uh, but he's mentoring us, uh, including startup, as an individual mentor. Uh, he he even sucks all the startup. Oh yeah. So he, I <laughs> I had no idea what to do. I don't know how to interview with startup to select the startup to be the finalist. He did all the interviews with the startups, uh -huh. and he did the mentor to them how to kind of like um, improve their presentation for Japanese investors. <laughs> yeah, he sounds like an amazing guy. I know. Yeah, he's like <laughs> I didn't like. Oh, I don't know what to do. So. Like he's okay, I can do that. I mean, <laughs> that's why I'm saying talking to people is the best thing for the business. <laughs> so you learned a lot from him. Yes, yeah. I did. Also, um, I have the Koji Miyazaki. He's a Japan reactor from Plug and Play Japan. Ah, uh, sorry, Plug and Play Silicon Valley. Uh, he has been uh, like dealing with many Japanese companies in Silicon Valley. So he had really good knowledge about what kind of demand from Japanese companies. So at the event, he did an amazing job interview with the startup, what they need more. Mm -hmm. Also, we had a Kazu uh, Tsuburaku. He's working at Bentsu, which is the biggest Japanese com uh, marketing company. So he knows uh, many, many business in Japan, too. So he kind of like has a very good idea about how they can improve the business. Oh, that's yeah. great. So. Uh... For future events, or what's your goals for your business for Maji Connection? Uh, so I really want to continue to do this. I mean, I before I started to do this, I couldn't even tell how much demand Hawaii has for Japanese market. So I really want to make the some kind of platform or the place where either American companies or Hawaii companies or just Japanese company come to my place. They can find it any kind of solution, new solution, new perspective from outside of Japan or America or Hawaii. That's like something I want to make in the future. Oh, great. Oh, um, so it's kind of like an incubator or like yeah. an accelerator? Yeah, incubator, accelerator, <laughs> innovation hub. You can go on anything. I don't know. <laughs> or you can make up something new or worse. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, so, you know, as an entrepreneur, um, what do you think are some of the biggest challenges that you face? Um, there are so many challenges, but I think the most uh, challenging is, thing is uh, like generating money. I'm not talking about one-time investment or like how much I have money. It's more like if you have a business, you have to have a stable business ground to generate money every month. I mean, since I started to this business just like like it's like only um, um like five months six months mm -hmm. so I, I still kind of try to figure out what's like the business plan so that I can charge the people to actually give in the money but at the same time I don't want to charge a small money uh I don't want to charge a small money and they're missing big opportunity so it's very like as an entrepreneur that it's very hard to balance okay what the when and how much how much I should charge to like it's like for for business for a job see. for work so that's very hard. Um, so second thing is um, people managing people. I have only my uh, I'm working by myself right now, but then I think in the future I have to hire the people. Uh, for my other business, I have many people under me. So I know how hard it's to manage in people. Oh, we're coming uh, to the end of our first segment. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be back shortly. Hello, 
、えー、2時からですね日本,語で日本語で活躍されていらっしゃるハワイのいろいろな方をお招きしてショーをゲストショーをお届けしています。えー、ぜひ、えー、ご覧になってください。Hi guys, I'm your host Lillian Kumik from Lillian's Vegan World. I come to you live every second Friday from 3 pm, and this is the show where I talk about the plant based lifestyle and veganism. So we go through recipes, some upcoming events,、uh, information about health, regarding your health, and、uh, just some ideas on how you can have a better lifestyle, eat healthier, and have fun at the same time. So do join me. I look forward to seeing you. and、uh, Aloha. Hello,、uh, I'm Nicholas Ogawa, and welcome back to Adventures in Small Business.、Uh, this is a think tech show,、uh, and I'm here with、uh, Takaho Iwasaki from Maji Connection.、Uh, so, kind of just getting back into、uh, talking about being an entrepreneur.、Um, so, what, what were some of the resources or organizations that you、uh, kind of used or found that?、Uh, Really helped you if there were any? Yeah, I mean, I used all the resources that I could think of. I, I, well, I can't think of, um, but um, if I pick up some examples or like some cases,、um, SBDC, your company, helped me a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you both helped me a lot to find a startup that's interested in the Japanese market. Also,、uh, after the event, as I said, I had, I think, I had like a 15, 14 startup because I had nine startup for the tech competition, but I have five startup that kind of just put in their ideas. They're not tech, tech startup. So I, I can't take care of everybody I,、uh, because after the event, it's like there's, a, there's a some startup that we didn't, didn't even know how to make a business plan or financial plan. So you guys help me a lot to, in terms of. Helping them、huh. after the event, like how they make the business plan. And then, so you guys helping me even after and before、uh, HTDC, Hawaii Technology Development Corporation.、Um, they also helped me a lot to find a startup. Also, they just started l a u n c h the Sandbox, which is a co working place in Kaka'ako. I started to rent an office over there because HTD is introducing me there. Yeah, that's a great place. So we just、uh, went and took a tour over yes. there. Yes. <laughs> so it's like a huge、uh, place. And then we have many companies, including Hawaii Airlines,、uh, Central Pacific, from Sabut Kotota. They have like a tech、uh, team on that the place. Also, every day, like I have a startup or small businesses coming in. So, like, if they are interested in Japanese market, they just come to me, so I don't have to go there. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> so they just、It、come in. Yeah, like saving my time a lot because I don't have to move. So I really appreciate you just introduced that place to me. Also, PACE, anti,、uh, entrepreneurship program from c h a t l e r University of Hawaii,、mm-hmm. because they have a lot of student startups. So、uh, Peter Ryan from PACE introduced me a lot of. Uh, startup students stood up. So, G Trainer is actually one of them.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, I have other resources too, but I have a lot of o r g a n i z a t i o n people help me to make it happen. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah I mean,、uh, using the resources that are available, especially the、uh, ones that are no cost to、mm-hmm. a lot of the times, it's good、um, and resourceful as an entrepreneur. Yeah.、Right? <laughs> um, so, yeah.、Uh, Maybe we can talk about, like,、uh, you know, you're from Japan.、Mm-hmm. And、um, what are some of the differences between working in America and、um, here in Hawaii and Japan?、Um, there's so many things that's different. So I don't know if I can like, talk about one thing, but、um, it's like、uh, our culture is very patient culture. So we, we think the patient is beauty. So, we really trust the people or company who've been working very hard. So,、um, when I pick up the Hawaii startup,、um, if they're interested in coming to Japan, I try to、uh, pick up the startup. So, small business, they are really interested in Hawaii,、uh, Japan、mm-hmm. because、uh, if they're just looking for money, Japan is the hardest. 
place that <laughs> you can get the only money. Uh, you really have to work so hard because we don't trust the people who goes the easier way. Um, also, um, we, I recommend them to be a little patient because we take us so much time. It's just not a good, it's Silicon Valley. They just decide everything so far and they put the money so fast, right? We're not like that. We, we think about it. We don't like to take a risk. So we, we try to do the best way to go. And we, we, we take so much time to consider that. I mean, that's why we could make a lot of like many, many good things, right? Toyota, Panasonic. It's like um, they, they take care of the quality. That's why they took time and they made a very good thing. I see. So it's a lot of like communication channels like going between things. And yes. really just trying to get the quality yeah. of the product. Um, I mean, you don't have to agree with them, but you have to understand why they have to go the first way. Yeah. I see. So, um, you know, if an uh, Jap- uh, American company would want to work with a Japanese company like your startup, what are some like tips for some of the startups? Now, um, as I said, be patient. Uh-huh. They do. They take so much time because there's a reason. There's no, not like for no reason. And if you don't ask, if you don't understand, don't be afraid to ask them. Like, you just tell them, I'm American. I don't know about your culture. Tell, can you teach me why you guys go in this <laughs> the business? Yeah. Also, some people kind of try to behave like a Japanese or pretend they understand Japanese people. Uh-huh. So I don't think it's a great idea. I think I just... All them like just behave like American, like respect your country culture and respect the other Japanese cultures. So there's there's a culture gap, like that's the fact. You uh-huh. you, you can't overcome it. You have to just like embrace it. Yeah. So kind of being true to yourself yeah. as a person as mm-hmm. a nationality. Yeah. But just like a take care of your attitude. It's like <laughs> you you say the harsh thing, but this be polite. Oh, like. Sorry, I don't understand you. Oh, okay, so <laughs> not, not like, forceful. I don't understand you. It's like, yeah, can you tell me why you're doing that? <laughs> like, your attitude is very important. <laughs> I see, yeah, okay. So being polite and Yeah, humble. and then being like, <laughs> just saying sorry. <laughs> okay, so I mean, as a, um, maybe as a small business owner, um, what is uh, some other advices that you would give other people trying to start their own company? Um, I think... Um, as I said, I mean, I'm from Japan, so I feel me working uh, has to be something tough and challenging. Um, so I would say 95% of your work will be something hard or something you don't like. So if you can contribute and work so hard for, uh, for 35%, just to get this 5% your joy, that's something what you want, maybe in the future. So I I I recommend um, this the small business owner to be kind of like be patient, persistence, persistence. Yeah, that's yeah. a good word. Sorry, <laughs> I'm from Japan. No, so. no, it's okay. <laughs> so persistent and also um, um, that's something very important, I think. Yeah. Um. So maybe how do, how does uh. Your family kind of feel about um, you starting your own business. Like, is, are uh, Japanese families really supportive of startup culture in Japan? Or, I mean, my family. Yeah. Um, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Asian problem. <laughs> um, but many of my family support my um, business, and they did support me uh, to be independent. But at the same time, they really, really want me to get married. <laughs> like, is that is that a Japanese yeah, culture? Yeah, I mean, basically, if you're a single woman after thirty years old, you you they will judge you because of you're single or not. So maybe getting married is one of the tactics to <laughs> be successful. If you're a woman entrepreneur and you want to start about something business in Japan, why not be get married rather than single? <laughs> Um, so uh, maybe we can talk about like um, as you were going along um, starting your business, like who were other su- like great supporters for you um, as you kind of like started your company? Yeah, I mean, uh, 
Since I graduated from MBA, uh, my colleagues are very supportive. They even helped me, my even three. <laughs> so um, I'm so glad that I went to MBA program on the University of Hawaii because, like, um, it just it was very small classes, but we are since like I graduated there like five years ago, but still very close to all my friends, and they are so supportive. Um, and I, I think um, my colleagues the, from my older companies, they are very supportive too. Like every time I call them, like, oh, hey, I need some of this kind of resources. They're like, sure, you just give me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like a really strong community. Yes, we, we work very hard when I was working this media company. Uh -huh. And they my old colleagues from the industry. So they know how hard I'm working. They trust me. So like every time I ask something, they're really willing to give me the many resources. And I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's kind of going into the, the hard work, you yeah. know, character that you're kind of saying earlier about yeah. it. Okay, so um, you know, before we wrap up, um, I just wanted to ask again, like, uh, are you planning to do the island dem demo day? Yes. Like, again. So uh, we don't decide any details, but we decided to do the island innovation demo day 2020 next year, uh -huh. same year as the Olympics. <laughs> 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 so uh, uh, we are still in debating with some uh, details, but in a uh, discussion and uh, under the discussion. But uh, please stay tuned. And if you are interested in coming to Japan Market, uh, please apply uh, to our uh, Island Innovation Dem Day 2020. Well, it's been a real great pleasure to have you here today, um, and thank you so much for coming and having this discussion with me. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs>